So we have talked about random variables. We have talked about random vectors. This is all what the multivariate thing was all about that you are talking about random vectors. Are they multivariate normal or copulas and, and joint distributions, marginal distributions and everything. Now, now we will move into stochastic processes. This is the general term when you have random variables indexed by something which, which we generally try to think about as time x t and we have a group of random variables indexed by t say t bigger than 0. Okay. The simplest case is when you have uh, finitely many time points. So, let us say you have x 1, x 2 and so on it or it can be infinite, but at least let us do this as discrete numbers. So, countable the t is countable hmm? so not the x but the t is countable ok. So, you have countable uh, number of x's a process like that. So, you can see that there will be various versions of this. So, there can be a discrete. So, there is both the time and the space where the x variable takes values that is one space and the other is where the t takes place. t is not a variable it is uh, uh, the index. So, where the index takes values. So, we will we have to have different procedures for dealing with these different cases. The first as I said easiest case would be discrete time and discrete space. So, countable t and discrete support for the x's okay, that will be the first thing we will look at. We will also look at things maybe not me, but maybe later we will look at various versions of these which will be the continuous time discrete space and I will just looking ahead I will give you examples of where you will look uh, at such things those will be like Poisson processes uh, any counting process. <coughs> so, examples of these are that you are observing say say there is there are uh, um, lots of parts lots of things going on in a factory and you are observing one by one things are failing and you are counting up to a time t how many have failed. In that case time is continuous, but how many have failed is discrete ok. So, things like those. So, those are uh, continuous time discrete space. You will also look at uh, discrete time continuous space. which is that each point of time something happens, but that something is a random variable which a continuous distribution. And finally, we, we will look at um, the, the general case the discrete time uh, the, the continuous time continuous space and this will be the thing that we will do most which will be Brownian motions and all other kinds of diffusions. So, just looking ahead all these possibilities are there, but right now we will look at uh, only countable t. So, you are looking at discrete points of time and at each time the random variable x itself can only take discrete values and the simplest uh, thing there is called the random walk. What does a random walk mean? That at any point of time I can take steps as plus 1 or minus 1 with some probability p and 1 minus p. This is my x i and I am looking at my current position which is the sum of all the x's 
up to i and this is the s1 s2 this process is the random walk. Okay. So, think of a particle at any point of time. So, time is discrete. So, at, at each point of time it decides whether to go right or left and it moves there. Next point of time. So, if we plot time here and position here, then one path could be that at time 1 it goes, so it can go both up and down. At time 1 it goes up at time 0 it is at 0, time 1 it goes up, at time 2 it maybe goes up again, time 3 goes down and so on. And continues. Okay? So, is how the particle is moving and there could be all sorts of paths where each path you are moving up or down one step and then moving right. Okay, time is always moving right. So, time is increasing and the path could go up or down just one step. Okay? So, that is the uh, simple random walk. And these go up in normal probability p and 1 minus p. Uh, so, if you forget the time, if you just want to uh, look at the trajectory of the particle, then it looks like uh, everything you, you bring everything on, on this axis. So, it goes up, down and, and so on. And then this could happen in two dimensions. So, this is the one dimensional random walk and this could happen in two dimension where a particle can go right, left, up or down. So, now time is, I am not drawing the time axis, Okay, I am just drawing uh, the, the, the path. So, it can go right, left, up or down. and so on. It can even cross itself. Hmm? So, particle is moving that way. That will also be a, that will be a two dimensional random walk. Hmm? 